Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Alpesh Dafda and in this 8th video class of AIML, we will understand IAs that is intelligent agents and these agents and its environment. And also we will understand and implement the example of a vacuum cleaner robotic agent in Python. Starting with the name, what is an intelligent agent? See an agent or intelligent agent is something that is intelligent that uses sensors to observe its surroundings and affect us to take actions to achieve its goals. For example, we human beings are also intelligent agents. We have eyes as sensors and we use hands as affectors to take some action. But for artificial intelligence, we consider machines that work like humans. Okay. And agents and environment means how these intelligent agents interact with the environment to do its work. And we will take the example of a vacuum cleaner robot and also understand how to implement it in Python programming language. Okay. So let us start. What is an intelligent agent? An intelligent agent is something that observes its surroundings using sensors and then takes actions using affectors to achieve its goals. What are sensors? Sensor is a device which detects the change in the environment and sends the information to other electronic devices. And what are affectors? As the name suggests, affectors are the devices which affect the environment. Affectors can be legs, wheels, arms, etc. The set of inputs at a given time is called a percept. See, percept means to grasp or to take, right? So, it means the information that an agent receives at any given time from its sensor is a percept. And the sequence of percept decides the action of the agent. And obviously, action is operations involving the affectors. Agent has a goal which it tries to achieve, for example, catching the ball. And the performance measure is used to evaluate an agent. For example, a person sees a ball using sensors that are eyes coming towards it and catches it, which is action done using the affectors, that is his hands. Okay, simple to understand, right? Now, let us understand agent and its environment. See, any artificial intelligence system consists of agent and its environment. These both figures shows agents and environment interaction. And environment is everything in the world which surrounds the agent. But the environment is not a part of agent itself. An environment can be described as a situation in which an agent is present and the agent will act in the environment. The agent will perceive the environment through the sensors and will act on the environment using affectors. The agents can be human agents, robotic agents or even the software agents. Okay. Now, let us understand and implement the example of a vacuum cleaner robot agent with just two locations A and B for the ease of simplicity. Okay. So, this robotic agent for perceiving the environment uses its sensors to detect the dirt on the floor and then moves around to clean it that is acting on the environment. So, what will be the percept over here? The percept might be the detection of dust or obstacle in the path. And what will be the sequence of percepts? The robot vacuum first detects dirt in one corner, then an obstacle in the middle of the room and finally a clean spot under the table. And this sequence of percepts helps it to decide where to clean next. What will be the action? The robot vacuum moves forward, turns or stops to avoid an obstacle. It may move right or left or sucks the dirt. What is the goal of this robot? The vacuum robot's goal is to clean the entire floor area efficiently. And what will be the performance measure? The performance measure of the robot vacuum can be measured by how much dirt it picks up, how quickly it cleans and how well it avoids obstacles. So when we consider intelligent agent like vacuum cleaner, we should also know the difference between agent function and agent program. Agent function maps any given percept sequence to an action. For example, this is agent function. If A is clean, move to the right. And if A is dirty, then suck the dirt. And C, the agent function that describes any given agent in the form of the table is very large. Why? Because here we construct this table by trying out all the possible percept sequences and recordings, right? And what is agent program? Internally, the agent function for an artificial intelligence will be implemented by an agent program, which looks like this. Let us implement this vacuum cleaner robotic agent with just two locations in Python programming language. This is the Python program 
for vacuum cleaner with just two locations a and b the import random statement in python is used to include the random module in the program so this module provides functions to generate random numbers and perform random operations so it will choose the locations randomly a or b and even randomly as clean or dirty right the environment class initializes two locations a and b with random cleanliness where we choose zero for clean and one for dirty the simple reflex vacuum agent class inherits from environment random Randomly places the vacuum at location A or B, checks the cleanliness of the current location and cleans if it is dirty, updating the score and moves to other location B, checks and cleans if necessary. And finally, it prints the state of both locations and performance score also. So let us run the program and see the output. So we can see in the output that location A is 0 that is clean and location B is dirty and vacuum is randomly placed at location A. Location A is clean moving to location B. Location B is dirty so location B has been cleaned. So now A is also clean and B is also clean and the performance measure is 1 because it has cleaned one location. Let us again run the program and see the output. So now location A is also dirty and B is also dirty and vacuum is randomly placed at location A. A is dirty, location A has been cleaned, moving to location B and location B is also dirty. So location B has also been cleaned. So now A is also 0 that is clean and B is also 0 that is clean and the performance measure is 2 because it has cleaned 2 locations. Okay. So in this way we can implement this vacuum cleaner with just 2 locations in Python. So that is all for this video class. You will find the link to download the PPTs and the Python codes in the description box. Thank you very much.